everyone and welcome back to Art New Vogue, my video art blog show with your host Leilani Joy. I've gotten a lot of requests and emails from you guys asking to do a little demo on how to do faces and how I do my faces, so I thought I would share that with you today. Um, I, there's a great book that um, we used when I was in school, when I was in art school, and I really like it a lot because... I mean, you don't have to technically follow everything, but it has some really great techniques. And it's called The Artist's Complete Guide to Drawing the Head. Oh, there it is. And it's by William L. Moggin, I guess it is. And um, this is what we used when I took uh, drawing heads and hands in school. And though, you know, a lot of it is very um, traditional and fine art style, uh, all the principles are the same, basically whether you're doing stylized figures or anime or even comics and all that stuff. And it even gets in depth on how to do the eye shadowing, um, noses, great stuff. And there's even some really fun stuff on how to um, compile like fantasy portraits from sources and everything like that. So for my demo today, I'm going to be doing a portrait of the lovely Mary Elizabeth Winstead um, in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, her character Ramona here. Uh, I loved that movie so much, it was right up my alley. It was like totally like video games and everything I could relate to from growing up and it was just awesome and fun. So if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead. And uh, I've gotten a, from a lot of people that I look like her. Um, I don't know, you guys be the judge. Anyway, let's get started and I'll show you step by step and give you a few little hints and tricks along the way. Now, I don't pretend to be an expert on fine art portraiture, but I might have a couple hints and tricks that you might be able to use um, in your work. So um, this is just one interpretation. This is the way I work. Um, some of my teachers will probably be like, you're still doing it wrong, but I don't really care. So anyway, let's get started and see what we come out with. So getting started here, I have my photo reference uh, parallel to my drawing board here. And I'm using a very soft pencil so that you don't have to push too hard to make the initial lines and you can kind of start out light and erase. So the head is basically made up of sort of an oval and a circle. Uh, the circle representing sort of the back of the cranium, the back of the skull there. Uh, to give you an idea of the front view, you basically have the circle and sort of the oval or sort of uh, rectangular shape in front for the face. So getting started on the proportions here, the eyes always fall um, directly center from the top of the head and the bottom of the chin. So your first line is going to be right in the middle. Then to find the nose, the nose is going to end directly between halfway between the eyes and the chin. So there's another halfway point. So finally, uh, to find the lips, the lips is actually a little different. It's one third. So it will be one third beneath the bottom of the nose. If it's too low, you're going to start to get this monkey look. Um, the other thing to keep in mind while you're drawing the um, proportion lines here is the perspective of the face. Now in the photo reference, um, her head is tilted slightly downward, so all the lines are going to curve up slightly, um, and all the features are going to be wrapping around the head like a ball. I'm also um, drawing a center line here for um, where the center of her face is, um, where the, the tip of her nose and um, the, her lips are going to align. So something else to keep in mind is that the, this head is three-dimensional. So it actually is um, in perspective. So think of it as different planes, like um, a box. Um, you have the front plane, which is where the face is sitting in this case, and the side plane, where um, the side of the head is. So just to give you, um, to keep this little idea in your, in your mind when you're drawing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and erase those lines, but sort of keep them in my head as I continue here. And the next thing I'm going to start looking at is this outer contour of her face and try to get um, sort of that silhouette a little bit more refined. So next I'm going to start on the eyes, and a hint what the eyes is, uh, it may sound a little creepy, but I like to try and visualize the skull that's beneath and um, sort of uh, block in where the eye sockets would be. Since your eyes are, are set back, um, this kind of helps you block in where the shadows are going to be and give you a good starting place um, to place the eyeball and the eyelids. Now, noses are a little tricky, and I still struggle with them myself, but just to show you here, um, think of them also as sort of a planar shape, like a geometric triangle. 
and um, there's a top plane and the side plane, which is sort of what I'm demonstrating here and erasing the um, blocking lines. And moving on to the mouth area, there's another little trick, and that is that the mouth is sort of this egg shape. Um, it actually is coming forward slightly, and um, that's important to keep in mind so that you don't have um, the jaw and the lips sort of sinking backward. So think of that as actually protruding slightly, almost like, you know, monkeys and stuff that you see. The, the mouth shape is this oval that's sort of coming forward. Now I'm doing a little more refinement, but as you can see, it, it still looks a little strange and a little awkward, but um, don't worry about that so much. Just um, keep pushing through and you can make little um, pushes and pulls along the way. So starting on the eyeball here, um, just like the skull, uh, picture an actual um, you know, sphere, a ball that's sitting in this eye socket. So um, you're actually wrapping the lid line around that ball. So you want that um, to have that feeling when you're doing the eyelids. As I work here, um, I'm what I like to call a guess and check artist, which um, sort of bothered my teachers in school. And they're always like, put the, put the correct line down first, you know, don't waste your time. Um, but I feel when I work, I sort of like to work more like sculpture. I like to push it a little and pull it back a little, draw a little, erase a little. That's just, that's just me. And uh, I don't think you should feel bad about that because nobody gets it perfect on the first try sometimes. And I had one teacher who was always like, well, look and study the model before you put down a line and make sure that's the line that you want. And I would sit there for 20 minutes and I wouldn't make a line because I'd be too afraid. So I really feel like it's better to make that mistake and go back and correct it later. And I definitely think with practice and time, you'll do less of that and you'll be more confident. So as I'm doing a little more refining here, um, something I like to do when I'm drawing a portrait is um, actually, um, you'll see that my version is not exactly like this photo, and I'm okay with that. Um, I'm actually purposefully exaggerating a couple of features um, on, on the actress here, because I really like her big eyes, and um, I want to stylize that just a little bit. So you can see that mine are a little bit larger, and probably a little bit farther apart just because that's the style that I kind of like. So keep that in mind when you're doing yours. Anyone can take a photo, I feel like. So what's the point of copying a photo exactly? I just don't see the point of that. So um, when I'm doing my version, I'd like it to be sort of my interpretation of the uh, photo reference. So that's just something to think about while you're drawing. Is um, It doesn't have to be real caricature-ish, but um, is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. But um, anyway, feel free to take some artistic license with interpreting um, your version of the photo reference. I still want it to sort of read as her and read as the character, but at the same time, I want it to be me too, my stylized version. Okay, so the face is starting to come out nicely, and I think it's time to render this hair a little bit. So um, a good hint to keep in mind when you're doing hair, which I've sort of learned myself, is think of hair as sections, or almost like their hair was made out of giant ribbons or um, cords or something like that. So then you can start to look for um, where the hair is actually protruding and receding. So um, you can sort of decide better where the highlights and the shadows should go. And as I'm finishing up uh, blocking in this hair, I, I found that I really liked this drawing, and I was sort of going to just leave it as is, but I think it would make a nice painting, so I think I'm going to take it to the next step and uh, finish this up and start adding some color. Cause you're my queen Take your time
Okay guys, my portrait of Ramona is almost finished, and before I show you guys how it came out, I'm going to do a few more um, final touches to finish off the piece. And I uh, just want to say thanks for watching. I hope you found this demonstration helpful, or at least fun to watch. Um, before I go, I wanted to show you, I do have um, prints available of Spectra now in my Etsy store. You can check those out. Um, at that address below and it's also in the description. Um, also I am gonna have um, prints of this Ramona piece available soon in my Etsy store because I'm really kinda happy with how it came out. I was just kind of experimenting with this but it made a pretty nice piece and actually I will have the original available as well since it's a, a real painting on a, um, watercolor paper. So if you're interested in making an offer for the original do send me an email at leilani at leilanijoy.com or I will do, I will possibly auction it off on eBay soon, so I'll let you know about that. Uh, anyway, without further ado, uh, here's my final piece, Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. And I'm out of here, so see you guys soon. Bye. I said I was leaving, but I thought before I go, I show you guys the original piece really quick so you can get a glimpse of it. So this is the original, and this is the size, um, so you get an idea of what she looks like. So anyway, okay, just want to show you her one more time, the real one. Okay, I'm out of here, so have a good one. See you later.